the reason why you should also take a girlfriend to a track. That totally looks stuck to me. Good morning comrades and sorry for sudden breakdown of yesterday's walk because of well I kind of got stuck and everything and then forgot to film the outro and then I was like ready to tired and went to bed. As you can probably hear there's some race racing going on so we're gonna check out the RCN race. I also find five, found five euros on the floor. On you? <laughs> yeah. uh, on the floor because her na last name is Floor. <laughs> <laughs> What's this? That's really cool. Oh. Oh, that's nice. That's very cool. That's a very cool car. Uh, I'm, I'm pretty sure someone's gonna tell me that was like below speed limit, but whatever. Um, yeah, that's very nice. Mandatory yeah. Volvo Moose sticker. That's very cool. Real wheel drive. Yeah, the, one of the last real wheel drive Volvos, if not the last. Nice car. <laughs> and, and as a Star Wars fan, nice shirt as well. You're scoring bonus points. I guess next. <laughs> And they're staying at the hotel. That's like yeah. triple bonus points. Now you just need to rent a car. And then you're like... <laughs> <laughs> with such a car, you don't need to rent a car. Are you going on track with that? No. <laughs> no, because that's unsafe for other users. That's a tank, it just goes straight over them. <laughs> cool. Let's go check out the race. Yes. Yes. <laughs> I wish she was just as excited to see race cars. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Oh, that's really cool. Nice. First we were like, what's the squares about? What's the grid about? Yeah. Oh, and bougies and pistons and everything. That, oh, wow. Porsche. Yeah, Everyone be like, what's her phone number? <laughs> but yeah, if you've seen previous episodes of us visiting RCN, then you know that it's um, for spectators, not really filled with action because RCN is mostly about consistency. So you need to set a lap time and then continue driving the similar lap time. And you only have 15 laps, which means where are we going? Where are we going? Anyway, what I was trying to say is about consistency. RCN is also only 15 laps, yeah. two times seven. After the seventh lap, everyone comes in for a big refill. So uh, yeah, no crazy pit stops like you have a land because it's not really about who crosses the finish line first, but who crashes. Not who crashes, but who crosses the finish line with consistency. <laughs> I told you about spectacular pit stops, totally no rush, just checking something, no stress. That's one, uh, but where is the E36? Because if you may remember one vlog ago, not one of yesterday, but the day before yesterday, the engine blew up and they were busy with replacing it, so I hope the E36 is running as well. That's two. I guess they replaced the E36 by United. Hello. Where's the E36? Uh, in the virtual oh. driving. It's working perfectly. Okay, but you took the two E90s now. Yeah, because drivers didn't care. Ah, okay. No, I'm okay. I don't need tickets. If you need later, if you ask or something. We're going to check out Time Attack now. It's more spectacular. Yeah, I can walk over the track. Yeah. Yeah. It's gonna be uh, the art of performance. <laughs> As we were watching the RCN race, I saw some cars driving on the GP track where we are currently at because tomorrow is Sport Ice Track Day. So I presume that a lot of cars are doing practice runs for tomorrow's time attack. And I see that. Oh, yeah, you're allowed, boy. You're allowed, boy. Very good job. Hundred twenty-three, not bad. Uh, I see a lot of cars are here ready also for tomorrow Sport Ice Track Day. So I presume that's uh, like a show BMW paddock. We have here Freddy's car. We have the Oregano M4 that overtook us when me and Freddy were doing the pizza lap. Um, yeah, so let's see if we can spot something 
more as well. Just a quick glimpse at the other cars of the BMW group. That's a nice setup. And then we continued our way to the actual pit lane of the Grand Prix to check out the time attack cars, which are parts in the pit boxes and since tomorrow I'll be pretty busy with Sport Iron Strike Day that gives me perfect opportunity to get some glimpse today well a more detailed glimpse those two cars we seen yesterday at Tire Trade Center but now we can have a look under the hood it looks kind of stock to be honest I think I think it is stock maybe the internals are different of the turbo but probably not allowed by the class regulations hard to tell hard to tell this is definitely not stock at all. But let's see what else we can find. Well, look at that. That's some proper wing game. Uh, you all know by now that I'm very weak for the GC8s. Oh, there are more of them. Yummy. Yummy, yummy. <laughs> Less wing, but still amazing. And of course, if there are, oh, that's even the wagon. If there are some Evo fans, here is something for you. And wow, 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 wow. The icon of JDM. Well, actually the pretty much every single one, a car here is icon of JDM, apart from the Mini, obviously. But of course, NS6 is slightly more rare than any Evo or any STI. Diana is more rare than a- One of a kind. One of, a, one. one of one. IKEA shelf yeah, exactly. so you can put some stuff in it. The BMWs are lining up here. Maybe they're gonna have some uh, driving session. But something tells me if that's gonna be the case, then it will be most likely sideways. I wonder why. Oh, that's a big flag. That's another big flag. What are they doing? They're gonna drive. Why? Big house cars are built to be driven, woman. Oh wow, that's a gem. That totally looks stuck to me. At that point, the 996 is really not uh, standing out anymore. As we're walking back to Apex, two fairly special cars have arrived, the S13 and the E30 of Drift Brothers, since this year's uh, sponsored by Red Bull as well. Um, yeah, if you're German and the chance is pretty big because 20% of my audience are from Germany, those cars require no introduction. And for other people, well, just assume that if you're sponsored by Red Bull, you must be pretty good. And they are pretty good and iconic as well. So looking forward to see them in action this weekend or tomorrow. At least I hope I get time because unlike previous years, the drifting not going to be taking place here, but at Mercedes Arena. So we will see. So for now, just some close-ups of this amazing car. I believe there's an LS engine in probably both of them, but at least in the S13 for sure. It's a proper V8 growl and howl that you hear when they're driving past. Should I say sliding past? And the fast forward to Tire Trade Center because if you watched yesterday's vlog, then you, you know that we left the Polo here to get new tires. And I assume it's already the case. They probably did already this morning, if not even last night. Michelin's. What? Oh, you just dropped your phone. Is it still alive? Uh, okay, surprisingly. Pilot Sport 4. The reason for that is because the car is going out in every weather condition. Uh, front wheel drive car people are not scared to take it in the rain as well so it's it's good to have something uh, casual of course when you, you were gonna say um, you could also put uh, Yokohama Advan AD or 8R on it but the reality is they didn't have them in stock in this size so we just went with that and it's yeah pretty good tire anyway it's better than what it was on it in the first place so yeah probably gonna do some laps later tonight to test it out and you too. Bye bye. And we are visited by Andreas. If you may remember from the vlogs when we had all those Volvo Polestars here, he was over with uh, the 2017 GTR. He's now here with his parents and they want to take out the GT86. Have fun. <laughs> yep. Let's go. 
test the new tires on the photo. Oh, we have a passenger. Sorry, we're not allowed to take passengers. Oh wow, it's a big passenger. Yeah. In Russian, we call it the fireman bug. <laughs> so, I'm not sure if there's a fire, but I can understand that the photo is so lit that you need a fireman. Ooh! I think it's only the first jo bad joke of today, so let's go. Uh, can you hold this, please? Wait, would it be interesting to like mount this thing maybe on the on the gimbal and then have a steady thing when you're doing the thing? <laughs> That's a very nice choice to go walking. Huh. Oh. Um, yeah, usually I say it was a nice day and we're gonna finish the day with the lap and such, but it's actually not the not the end of today's vlog because we're gonna still have to do some stuff we organized well not really organized invited some people for some ice cream later today and I just a chilled lap to check the new tires so actually two laps so first bring the tires up the pressure release the pressure have some fun ooh that's a nice 834 that's a great point <laughs> maybe then you should stop filming and enjoy the lap maybe I should <laughs> The reason why you should also take your girlfriend to a track because you can do teamwork. She's taking up the the caps and I'm taking checking tire pressure. So after one lap, holy cannoli! Through the roof, 3.2. Oh fuck. So the Colin Hart, which killed our previous polo. Let's see. Oh, got a new grip. Even if you come out a bit on the wrong side. So the tires are hereby officially approved. Nice, nice, nice. Because of traffic, we're gonna do miss, miss, miss instead of miss, hit, miss. But very nice. I'm very satisfied with the tires. Obviously, I would need to do a wet test on them, but now with the proper air pressure, you can actually chase the 934 just in front of us. Satisfied. It's of course not a semi slick, but it's a great intermediate tire. And uh, like I told you, for us, it's most important that this car can go out also in wet conditions. And obviously, you need to compromise. So, yeah, overall, very happy. A lot better than it was. And I hope many, many more people gonna agree with me and enjoy this amazing car. Now let's maybe do some car spotting on top or something. I don't know. We'll see. Oh, but what are we filming? I'm not sure. Anything with it's a car spotting from the inside the car. So yeah. here's a Lotus 7, which is often confused with the K3M. Which one? This or, one? Or, I don't know. That's this a Porsche. Came. You were just filming. Uh, oh, okay. <laughs> I do not. Which, we, yeah, we're gonna have new segments. It's car spotting with Diana. <laughs> Diana, what car is in front of us? Uh, the Film. Mitsubishi. Oh, but which Evo. one? Evo. Wow. Because it says so. Uh, yeah. On the... <laughs> And after lapping, it's a good idea to refuel the car. Diana's already back at Apex to welcome all the cars back. And the reason why I'm filming this is because something tells me there's a Honda S2000 meeting this weekend on the Nova Cream. Because one, two, three, four, I'm pretty sure somewhere else there's going to be more. Anything behind us? Nope. Nope, nope, nope. What? Don't stress. Don't stress. We're running a bit behind because there's always something came in between. But the only thing that you need to know is that all the cars came back in one piece. Luckily, only problem is the Cooper didn't do all its laps, so it needs to do one tomorrow morning because the car is booked out by another customer for the whole day tomorrow. So we're gonna kind of have a stressy morning 
uh, tomorrow. Also going out with the M4 tomorrow morning uh, for some instruction laps. But now jumping in the app and going to get some ice cream to cool this baby down. Why, well, you want to drive? Okay. Well, in case we didn't make it to the ice cream shop. You always say that and we always make it. <laughs> Real for GOG. Whiskey. Whiskey. Improvise on this one. Yeah. Yummy, yeah. Feel free. Be creative. Hello, seven. Yeah. Yep. Seven point two. I heard.